So before we move on to choosing our tiny home, we first have to find our floor plan that we want. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at all the available examples and we're going to pick from there. You're going to pick which one you want to do. So navigate your way to the STEM Solutions site. Remember, go to PBL units. We're doing tiny homes. And right here on the right hand side is all of the templates that we have already built in, all of the examples. So, for example, this uh, 14 Manchester, 16 Albion, 16 Cleon. This first number right here is how long your tiny home is in feet. So remember, they're all about 8 feet wide. But then this one right here is anywhere from, I guess, 12 all the way up to 28 feet, the Westport. 24 feet, the Redwood Valley. So these are going to be the larger ones. These are going to be the smaller ones. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a look at them. So go ahead and click on one and it's going to open up a list of files. You've got the layout, you've got a Excel file, worksheet, a template, another layout, and then right here is your SketchUp file and right here is your PDF file. So when you're just looking at them at first, go ahead and open up the PDF because it's much quicker. So right here, this is what that house looks like. And you can scroll down. Now this floor plan is just an example. You don't have to follow it exactly. And then you can scroll down and see all of the construction of that one. But right now, just focus on which one you like kind of the whole overall looks of. So that was there's that one. Go back, let's say the Westport. Click on that. Click on the PDF. And take a look at that. Take a look at the inside. Go back. Click on one. Look at the PDF. So let's say I, I liked this design a lot. What I'm going to do then next is I'm going to look at the SketchUp file just to make sure this is the one I want to use. So this one that ends in .skp is for SketchUp. SketchUp is a 3D modeling software. So on your desktop you should have this icon right here. It says SketchUp 2017. So we'll go ahead and open that. And while that's opening, so the very first time you use it, you're going to see this. It's going to want you to pay for the next version. Just hit bottom right here, start using SketchUp. See a new version available, don't worry about that, just hit remind me later. And I see there's this little person here. If I want to get rid of him, I can click him and hit delete on the keyboard. So here's some tools. We'll talk about all these tools when we get there. But back to my site, I'm going to download the SketchUp file. So hit download. Just going to scan it. All right. Now when this is done, double click to open it. Start using SketchUp. And hit OK. All right. So up here at the top, this is my house. I've got all of these different views. This is all a 3D model of that house, pretty much as it's being built. So if you hit this little triangle over here, you can take a look to some of the 3D views. And what you can do is you can look around it. You've got these different camera views, so I can look around. I can move around like this. So before we get started on step five, we need to know which house you want to do. So on Google Classroom there will be a form 
And what you're going to do is you're going to fill out your name, you're going to fill out your period, and then you're going to tell us which one of these cho you chose. So 24 Boonville, 24 Little River, 20 Talmadge. So you need to do that before you can move on to step five, task five.